you're gonna get into this industry, things that you need to look out for is, so I made this girl right here, and this right here is a, now this guy right here, man, is gonna be, dude, a key for some projects that I'm looking for this coming Hey, what's up guys? How are y'all doing today? Did you guys notice I didn't say, hey, what's up YouTube? Well, I was thinking about it, you know, like when I say, hey, what's up YouTube? I'm not doing this video for YouTube. It's not like if YouTube, YouTube's watching, like, oh man, thanks Miguel. Thanks AP for saying what's up. But yeah, I just wanted to say, hey, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. As you guys can see in the thumbnail, um, do you want to be a ball python breeder or a reptile breeder in general? Well, I'm gonna get to that here shortly, but real quick, I need to open up this package just because uh, the big homie kind of threatened me and I don't want to hurt him, so I'm gonna, you know, open this up. But this right here is from my good friend, uh, Michael Juarez from NJ Cartel, Trap Talk. Guys, if you guys haven't seen um, his videos, all this information in my description down below. This guy keeps a freaking raw, I mean, uncut like crazy, man. I mean. It, it's, it's awesome, man. Something that we really need in this industry because he will call some people out on some of their stuff and watch it, all their stuff. It's a great, you know, guy, man, and it's so freaking cool to see it. But let's see what we got here, man. Let's see what we got here. All right, all right. Oh, damn. And they know. Is that a love letter? Miguel and Turtle, thank you for being the home. He's always been well I'm proud of you, too, for you guys gotten so far. Every time I'm inspired something related to AP, you guys got me on the homie support for real life. Respect, MJ. P.S. We all gonna eat. Yes, we are, dude. Mastros, it's so funny. We always talk about it because we had actually a really, really cool time with MJ and his wife, Lily. We went out to Mastros and we took the 64 Impala and I can't talk about some of the stuff we did over there, but it was so freaking gangster, dude. But check this out, man. Look at this. Bam. Trap Talk Podcast. Trapping is a sport. Dude, that is so freaking sick. As a matter of fact, dude, I'm gonna throw this on there, guys. I'm gonna have to put this on pause real quick because I don't want you guys to see the dad bod. Give me one second. Dude, look at this, man. Dude, nice and snug, too. Got the little pocket right here so I can put all my, uh, my anxiety pills. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, trapping to the spark. Uh, big shout again to MJ, man. It's so funny. I actually had to message him because yesterday he did a, a video with JP Reptiles, which reminds me to another thing, guys. Um, please, if you guys could do me a big, big favor. You guys remember Jordan from JP Reptiles Canada, the a, uh, AKA uh, Always Evolving uh, Pythons Canada. But uh, yeah, he actually got his Instagram taken away, man. And you know what? That really, really sucks. That guy has put a lot of work into his social media, man. I mean, this guy has gotten millions of millions of views when he's done these reels i mean dude i can learn from some of the stuff that he's done and it sucks because you put so much work into all this stuff and it just gets taken away like that and that's a big part of our you know our, of our business especially for him too man so do me a big big favor guys and go check him out please go follow him if you guys have not followed him or if you guys think he just blocked or anything he didn't he just got his stuff taken away so please please jp reptiles go check out mj and then go check out jp reptiles all the information can be on the description down below guys Please, please, please do me that big favor. All right, guys, so you want to breed reptiles. So um, again, I'm fairly new to this, five years in. Um, a lot of people you know, still don't give me any credit and stuff, but it's all good. What I've learned uh, in these last five years, I am gonna share with you guys real, real quick. Uh, for one, it's an amazing industry. Two, it's a horrible industry. Three, the animals are awesome. Four, some people are freaking horrible, but uh, yeah, uh, before we get some of the subjects, let's show off a couple of snakes. I don't want to, you know, um, you know, not show off some snakes, but guys, check this out. Right here we have a red, uh, a red striped trident, and it's in deep shed right now, so let me pull one out. So this right here would be the base morph of the trident. Look at that. Look how beautiful this trident gene is. So we have a trident, and we have a red striped trident. So I got really lucky with these combos. I just sucks because I missed on the yellow belly and I really, really wanted to hit just the yellow. Damn it, they're all in shed. All right, so those are those. And again, let me show you this one. Oh my gosh, everything's in shed. So here are some of my holdbacks. I already went through some of the racks just to make sure they weren't in shed so I could you know, keep it going. But right here we have a black pastel spot nose clown, 100% het hypo. 50% head desert ghost. So it's crazy, man. These holdbacks here. Remember, I was explaining to you guys how I feed these things, man. And they are getting really, really, really big. And check out this freaking stacked snake right here. This right here, we have an inchy red stripe jungle woma leopard clown. I mean, dude, is the camera picking it up? How beautiful this so is? So pretty. This thing is so cool. Please don't turn around and tag me. Oh, I know you want to. Let's come over here. Let's come over here. There you go. But look at that. Nice and chunky, man. All right, then we have this other one over here as well. This right here is a massive 
massive powerhouse. Right here we have a Super Orange Dream Fire Leopard Yellow Belly Clown 66% head pied. Now imagine if this guy were to prove out pied, how crazy would that be? I mean, we really can't see any markers or anything. I'm just hoping it is. I mean, Enchant Leopards, you know, cleaning it up as it is, man. These little things are feisty. But yeah, man, this freaking guy is beautiful, man. And you know, the goal is to make, you know, some combos like this. I know I've been showing the snake a lot here recently, but it's, you know, one of my favorite snakes, man. And I got so lucky making this snake right here. So right here we have a Super Orange Dream Fire clown pied all this thing right here i mean what i would love to have in it would obviously be inchy and yellow belly that way we could get more pattern on it you guys know that most of my pieds i like them you know with a lot more pattern than all white but yeah this thing right here is freaking beautiful look at that we're about to go in the stag room just to change the view a little bit and look at this man it is freaking hailing over here i mean dude i don't know this california weather man i'm telling you it's pretty freaking bipolar one day it'll be super hot the one day it'll be really really cold uh, but then again, I don't want to say real cold because if I tell you guys what I consider cold, you guys are going to make fun of me. Especially my Canada people over there. They're always dogging on me. So yeah, we're going to just say it's uh, it's okay. So Turtle, put that camera under your shirt, big dog, because we're going to make a run for it. <laughs> okay. All right, back to, you know, wine to breed reptiles or ball pythons. Um, you know, I wanted to touch up on, you know, if you guys want to do this, man, I'll give you a little bit of advice real quick. But uh, real quick, dude, it's so crazy. I come in here all the time, man. I real honestly can't believe where we're at in just the, you know, five years that we've been doing this. We've actually, you know, we try to, you know, expand a lot more, you know, in the last couple of years, but um, we haven't really been wanting to just because the fact that, you know, I mean, we're in our house, you know, and we have enough, you know, uh, clutches that we make here yearly to, you know, have the life that we're living right now. But guys, what I wanted to touch up on a little bit about it is because I keep on seeing this over and over and over and over. If you're going to get into this industry, things that you need to look out for is some people that are going to mentor you and mentor you in the wrong, wrong way. Um, I'll give you a quick little couple of, you know, tips real quick. Um, for one, if you're if you're getting uh you know taken under the wing of someone else and someone's telling you what to do the minute this person tells you hey man don't buy from this guy or don't buy from that guy if you feel a little bit of jealousy coming from his side of the end or him thinking that he's gonna make all the craziest stuff dude pull away from it you know because i see it right now how some people are getting taken advantage of in that area and even when people are still telling me oh well someone still told me not to buy from you because you know this and this and that and you know it's to me i don't mind you know i don't have trouble selling snakes but the fact that these people are doing that there's obviously some insecurity there's a lot of jealousy and if someone's trying to keep you close just to them i mean are they really going to produce all the crazy stuff that's going out there no impossible dude i've talked so many times with justin or my buddy willis from royal canadian reptiles and i'm like hey do you have this We're like no but so and so has that but so and so has that that's the kind of people you want to get into it with right and you know and, and deal with so that's one of the things i wanted to talk about now let's show off some snakes so I wanted to show this snake here because we're about to start breeding her. As you guys can see, we have an ultrasound right there, which brings me to another thing that I get a lot of crap about. So this snake right here, as you guys could see her, um, she's only 1100 grams. She's not a really big girl. So we were ultrasounding and this female right here is actually showing follicle growth at 16 millimeter follicles. She's under two years old. And a lot of people usually tell breeders when they're starting to breed, oh no, you're gonna have to wait for this female to be three years old or at least 2,500, 3,500 grams. And you know, at first I try to you know, follow those steps, but what I started realizing is a lot of these people that say that were breeding females a lot earlier. Now, now look, my goal is not to get this female, you know, breeding like in six, eight months, but I do go off of the ultrasound. And we have, and I've said this plenty of times, we always have to remember that, you know, in the wild, these snakes are not looking for a scale to go weigh themselves. It's like, hey man, you know, I'm ready to go. Or go look for a male, be like, hey, are you ready? I don't know, man, let's go check out the scale. So that's another thing that a lot of these older breeders say, but now, you know, people are starting to realize, hey man, some of these females are going at a young age. Like I said, this female, I hope to go, man. And look, she's under two years old, and she right here is a red stripe ultra male head, cl head clown. Now, if I wait, you know, uh, another what year, a year and a half to make, you know, to make sure it's 2,500 grams, I could lose out in making a red stripe ultra male clown that nobody has made so far. So, you know, again, it's like it's it's you know, and the way you want to make things before some other people just kind of get you ahead of things, you know? And now again, we're not gonna be able to make all the stuff that a lot of people are making just because there's so much combos and then we have to play with the odds and the odds are not always in our favor. So that's another thing that I wanna to touch up on you guys and let's go back to some other stuff. Pastels, are pastels, like are they done? Do we need to get pastel out of our collection? 
you know, I was kind of on that same boat of like, hey, you know, maybe we don't need to pass those anymore. But then this right here changed my mind. And I hope they're not in shed. So these two snakes right here are actually the same genetics. Just one's going to have pastel and one isn't. So I made this girl right here. And this right here is a ODYB Inchi Gene X Pied. And you can see a good size. And then we made this girl right here. Look at this. Look at the difference. Now, you know what the difference is? This one has pastel in it. This one does not have pastel in it. And look at that, man. Look at the difference. I'll tell you right now, man. I think the pastel version looks prettier than the non-pastel version. I don't know. You guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me see if I can get them a better side by side. But yeah, look at that. I don't know, man. I think pastel is making its comeback. And I will say this. Pastel right now and Desert Ghost look better than some uh, Desert Ghost combos I've seen that have no pastel. Again, starting, if you're gonna start a ball python collection, you know, you guys heard this a lot as well too. What I always recommend and what, you know, a lot of people will recommend is get a lot of females. Start off with just females. You know, um, build your collection off of females. Cause remember, a male could be ready to breed within, you know, seven months to a year. Um, females are gonna be, you know, a little, you know, a year and up, you know, over a year. So it gives you, you know, once you get these females up to size, you know, definitely could give you a chance to look for a male because males, you know, they're coming out every year, every year, and you want to get something super powerhouse for those females because if you buy the male and then, you know, you put it, you know, these females are growing them at the same time, by the time those girls are ready, that male not really might be as cool as he was last year. You know what I mean? So um, that's one thing, build up a lot of females and stuff like that. But the reason right, I'm right here on my male rack is one thing that I keep on saying and one thing that I keep on learning every year is load up on a lot of males, guys. I cannot tell you this enough. If you guys are thinking about buying one male, you know, for a certain project, I recommend get two to three because this is my fifth year going into it and I held back a lot of stuff. And I'll tell you right now, I'm still like about one or two males short because even though we get these males up to size, we don't know if they're going to want to breed or they might be just, you know, slow breeders or just breed with certain females. And in this day and age, man, we need these males to, you know, be right there and then. So it brings me to this. So I have my spot nose red stripe yellow belly clown. Now, this guy has done a lot of work for me. The last two years I've used him, he's, he's actually going to shed right now. The last two years I've used him, he's actually been, you know, a very slow breeder. But once he gets going, man, does he get going. So this year, I made sure I had to have a backup for him. We have this guy which is basically everything that guy has with Inchi. Look at that. So that's two snakes for the projects that I want for spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly clowns with an added gene. Now on the other side too, I have this one right here that I'll be growing up for next year. Now this is not a visual, but this is way more stacked than those two. And the reason why is because is he's hiding his head right here. We have a, spot nose cypress red stripe yellow belly clown now this guy right here man is gonna be dude a key for some projects that i'm looking for this coming season um if i could get him up to size if not next year he's still gonna be just as valuable this is actually the first season that i'm using more head, head uh what's the combo head clowns than visual to visual because you know, I was talking to Justin, you know, it's like, especially if you have like a new gene or something, the only way you're gonna get the visual off is by having the fat, I mean, and, um, having it be hat because most likely there's not gonna be a visual, you know, uh, uh, combo of that snake. So, you know, I have a lot of female clowns out here that are, you know, uh, what's it called? They have stacked with genes that are visuals, but now a hat would be very, very power, you know, powerhouse to do that right there. Now, Let's go to the clown pie stuff. You guys know that I showed you guys my OD leopard clown pie. Now this guy right here is really, really important for me as well because right here we have a leopard GHI Mojave pie 100% head clown. Now you guys know earlier we were talking about, you know, the super orange dreams, the OD clowns, yellow belly, all those genes right there are already, a lot of people are working them because some of the first ones have been made. So I wanted to make something a little different that's gonna give me a chance to make something different. And that's why this male right here is real crucial to me. Now, the cool thing is that I made actually two of these. So I have this one and then I have this one. So I'm telling you guys, man, I am stacking up on males 
left and right, man. It's I'm telling you, you guys don't want to get stuck in the same position that I did, that I've been doing every freaking year. So let's touch up on a couple of other stuff real quick. I know I threw in a couple of negative things in there, but honestly, it's the truth, man. A lot of people in the beginning, you know, for people that have been following me for, you know, from when I started, so I got taken advantage of and it was horrible, man. I almost got out of it just because how dirty and sleazy some of these people were. But um, in, in all honesty, dude, it, it honestly is the best, you know, industry and hobby to get into. I love it, man. And the best part is I get to work with the turtle, I get to work with my kids, and, you know, besides the fact that, you know, honestly, the money is good. You know, for the people to say there's no money in ball pythons, they're full of crap because you're gonna get, you're gonna hear that a lot. People are gonna say, oh, there's no money into it. But if there wasn't no money, there wouldn't be no shows. There wouldn't be people making racks. There wouldn't be people making incubators. There wouldn't be people making ultrasounds. There wouldn't be making people, you know, uh, um, track tags, all, all sorts of stuff, man. I mean, now, I mean, look, we're getting a, a hatch trays and everything. If there was no money into it. People wouldn't be investing in some of this stuff. And like I said, Besides the finances being really good and you know in this, if you done if it's done right, you could live an amazing, amazing life with this. I'm telling you right now. But besides that, man, the cool part that I really enjoy about this is it's like Christmas almost every month for me. I get so excited when I pair things up. I get excited when I wake up in the next morning and you know I'm right here, I'm right here with the turtle. We're opening up bins and you know we see the locks. Then we tag them down and then we look forward to ultrasounding and then when these girls get going and then you know you mark their, their 30 days after their pre-lay shed then you're like just waiting and when you're having clutches left and right i can just imagine what these big breeders like you know justin kabelka you know um mike will banks brian barchek you know they're having like crazy like over 100 clutches 150. it's like Christmas, it's like your birthday every day. You're opening, you know, bins, and you know, obviously, you're gonna get some that don't have any, you know, like that have slugs and everything. But you know, you win more than you lose, that's for sure. But that's so exciting about it, man. And then after, you know, you pull these eggs out, then you look forward to, you know, cutting these eggs. You know, seeing these things pep out, see what craziness you made this year, or you know, what's gonna be ready for the next year. And that's the kind of that's the kind of stuff that a lot of people don't really talk about. And it's so freaking exciting, man. I'm telling you guys. It, it's I'm so blessed about this and I love this industry. I love the hobby man And I want to do this for the rest of my life honestly and we're now at the point where you know um, We're talking about we're looking around what we've done and we've been trying to you know expand Well, that's what we're doing this season man And again, it was a big blessing for us again And we are going to be doing the, we're already looking for a new house with a big property and we're gonna be building a facility not as big as Justin just because we live in California and for one, we don't have that much, you know, houses with that many, you know, with big, you know, acreage. But we are going to build something that's at least 10 times bigger than what we're in right now. Maybe even 15. But I'm going to take you guys on this journey. It's going to be freaking amazing. I can't ex wait for the next step. So if you guys are thinking about breeding ball pythons or reptiles in general, man, I say, hell yeah, do it, man. Just watch out who you link up with. Watch out for the people that will take advantage of you because if they're only with you right there because you're buying snakes off of them and the minute you stop buying for them, and they won't talk to you you guys are going to go through that um look out for you know false information talk to some people that you know you really trust and that you know you see that are doing really good people that are you know successful in this industry you know luckily you know i had someone like justin cabelka to help me out same thing with uh, willis royal canadian reptiles and some other people you know um but guys i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i know i talked a lot but you know something i wanted to share with you guys Till next time peace